Welcome to the second part of creating product design. Generally, on products, we see details either on front side and on the back side. Also depends on the designer who has created the entire look of the specific product. But the standard deal is generally almost same. And for texturing part, I have created my own fictional brand named as Fiesca with my channel name and my own. Added product name and details about it under brand logo and few details for backside. It's better to provide seams on sides to adjust textures on front and backside without much trouble. Now we have different products with different shapes, so I'm going to unwrap every single product and apply texture at a time. Starting with this tube. So simply add a material and connect texture with the base color. Also connect roughness with color amp and bumps to make texture pop a little on the surface but not too much. And this material setup is going to be same for almost all products we have in the scene except for glass bottle. Now add seams on the sides and also on the top and bottom layers and press U and unwrap them. Once you unwrap them, make sure you only place those unwrapped parts on logo and text which are going to have those details on product and take rest of the unwrapped parts on flat smooth color of the texture to avoid any kind of unnecessary texture appearance on product's body. Make necessary changes in UV edge flow to properly maintain the texture's look on 3D model both in scale and according to the size of the text. So here we have our tube with my own created brand and definitely starting to look great also add a white color material on cap. Make it a bit reflective by reducing roughness to about 0.2. So now we have two more tubes just like that. First, transfer materials from first tube and apply them to cap and mid section of the tube. And create separate material for mid section and right after that, simply add seams on the sides and unwrap the tubes. And then simply relocate the appropriate textures from the folder and readjust the UVs as first tube. Now let's work on bottles. Similarly, add seam in bottle and unwrap, relocate textures and readjust UV maps according to the position, scale and size of logo and details. And the drill is just similar for the simple bottle too. But one thing which really made me work on fitting the textures on bottle is roundness. Due to circular typology, the edges of unwrapped sections are round and they may texture to look bit gravitate from center. And that really affects the appeal of products with details. So better keep an eye on those details, in the end only these details matter. So try to flat out some edges in the UV unwrapped to make text look good on the model. And the sections which don't have logo or text, simply place them on colored area of texture and avoid all kind of interference of UV unwraps until there is any specific requirement. Now finally to the glass bottle. For glass bottle, we need to create another separate material and add texture which have alpha channel properties. Now you can see the bottle has texture but the glass area is completely black. So to make it look like glass, you need to replace the node from base color to transmission shader. And there we go. Make sure you turn down the roughness value to zero and only use bump node to pop out the text a little bit on the bottle. Now for liquid inside, simply select inner polygons and duplicate them and separate them from bottle glass. Right after that, close the mesh from the top and add a couple of loop cuts to maintain the topology. Then add another material. Now for this liquid, first we gonna raise the transmission value to 1. Then change the IOR value to about 1.8. And now for the pipe in between the bottle, add a white plastic material for it and that's all and there we go with a realistic looking glass bottle with textures on it for circular boxes it's pretty easy replace textures only applying textures on the top of the lid so add seams and unwrap then readjust only top uvs and move rest of the unwrapped parts to the colored part add a white color to the bottom part adding similar or different colors is completely a personal choice to a brand so that's completely up to you or you can simply follow the lead. And here we have our all products with textures on them. And now in the next part, we will set up the scene, lighting and everything for products for final render. So I'll see you guys in the next part.